Hello, YouTube world. Um, this is not a track. This is not a, a diss track or anything. Um, this is just um, kind of like a public notice. There's a lot of things uh, that I said that I did um, that I shouldn't have did, that I shouldn't have put out there. And I, I've taken a lot of my videos down. Uh, I really hurt somebody that meant a lot to me. And I know that they're really mad and they're really spiteful because I said a lot of negative, hateful things that uncalled for. A real ungentlemanlike, unprofessional. Um, they were real outlandish of what I said. And um, they were only meant not to hurt this person. But just to hurt the person that they were with, just to get under that that person's skin, that guy's skin, just to just to mess with his head. And I and I really believe I'm a firm believer that sometimes as men we're ego driven. Once our ego has been hurt and damaged, you know, um, resulting in you know all these different things in life and relationships that happen, and. Uh, you know, I don't try to prove that I'm I'm some some gangster or I'm some thug or whatever behind the music. I'm just freestyling off the top of my head, you know. And if I'm feeling it, I feel the beat and I feel the music, you know. Then I then I put it out there, you know. And I know at one time that this person that that is very mad and upset with me, um, you know, enjoyed my music because my music was positive. It was loving. It was careful. It was uh, gospel music. And um, not only that, but it was music that, you know, that I made for this particular person. And um, I feel bad because I turned something that they loved about me a lot. I turned it around and turned it and made it evil and, and, and sinister and very, very, you know, uh, very explicit things that I shouldn't have said. You know, it's like when guys are ego driven and they want to say things in order to get back because they feel hurt. They don't realize um, the repercussions of what they do. And I'm learning that right now. Um, you know, when you open Pandora's box and you open it and you think you're getting away with whatever, re revenge or whatever, no, it's not worth it. You know, I just want to say to you, you know what I mean? I hope you're very happy. And I hope that this person takes care of you and respects you and loves you and uh, loves everything about you. And you deserve a lot better. And I do apologize. I know there's nothing I can say or do um, by putting that out there. There's nothing I could say or do that can um, rewrite or remark of or even heal of what I did, the damage I did no, I'm behind this music and behind these words. Um that's why I'm just giving out a, a, a public disclaimer, you know, um, you know, because I know a lot of my videos were commented saying, you know, I'm, I'm not that person. I'm this and I'll break girls hearts and all these things. You know, I understand that when things are going back and forth in a relationship and behind messages and behind uh, mixed feelings when these people ain't communicating with each other, a lot of thoughts going ahead. And we begin to think different things, you know, there's people, you know, uh, are out to get me or we think a lot of different things. And I came off wrong, you know, I mean, I'm not trying to put myself out there. I'm no, I'm no better than anybody else. I just believe that, you know, this, this gift, this talent, this music is meant for God. You know, like the person said, you know, maybe if I got it together. You're absolutely right. Everything you said in your comments and how you commented about it, you're absolutely right. Um, you know, um, and I just want to apologize. This is my only form and way of really, you know, verbally uh, apologizing, telling you I am very, very, very sorry for what I said and what I put out there. And I am very regretful. I'm very uh, remorseful of that. And, uh, I know that I need to get it together, and I know that this music could do some more positive. I know that music in general is able to uplift people and motivate people. 
when that person and that artist is really down and they're really, really, really going through something, you know, typical like Eminem and a lot of different people, they put their baby mama out there, said a lot of stuff. And, you know, I might have come close to describing some graphic stuff and I shouldn't have said people's names. I shouldn't have called them out there. I was very, 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 uh, very childish and it was very wimpish. That was very pussy of me to do that, you know. I just got myself on a roll and I just was motivated by the wrong hate and the wrong energy and, you know, I can try to justify and say, well, you know, I was getting it off my chest, you know, whatever, but I shouldn't have said those things that hurt people, that made people upset, that put people out there that's not right, you know. If anything, this is this hip hop music is an art form. It should be used to motivate and inspire people, you know. And if people want to, you know, they want to battle and they're good at it, and they they can rap different punchlines and different metaphors, then you know what? Then go for it. You know, be like a UFC fighter, a champion, or you know, go for the gusto. Go go for everything when you go in the ring and you battle somebody, you know. Um, but like I said, when I got what I have, I've been blessed to have what I have, and I put it out there. Um, it should be a positive thing. It should make people feel good. It should make people feel happy.